about it more was really understanding the physiological changes that opacas can bring to others. Mm -hmm. So let's talk a little bit about that because um, I've pulled some of the research, you know, they're using alpacas in some of the prisons to help with anger management, yep. um, working with special needs children or seniors that are disconnected and isolated. As a massage therapist, touch is what I do for a living. Mm -hmm. I know the laying off of hands is so important. You spoke about being disconnected from family and friends. You gotta love it, right? You gotta love that the chickens are here. He agrees, he agrees with us. Um, but what I love about, you know, when we were here touching the alpacas and stroking the alpacas and you couldn't help but smile. Yeah. You talked about your blood pressure going down. Tell me personally, because so many people will relate to, tell us how you feel when you're anxious and then tell us what it feels like when you touch an alpaca or interact, what the change is, because that's the tangible difference that I think people miss and is so important. I think with any animals, it's gonna be like that. Like any animals you feel immediately, right? Like that's why people love dogs, cats, all of that, right? Like any animal, because they're just so like innocent and they're non-judgmental and there's just this freedom of, you know, being yourself around them and no pressure and they don't talk back and <laughs> yeah. they don't yell back, you know? and it's just nice and um you know so with them like i just feel you know when i'm anxious it's like my heart race you know my heart racing out of my chest like heart palpitations like it's debilitating some days i can get out of bed you know i had a lot of like a lot of bad dark times and i'm not even gonna say days because it was times like it went on for months sometimes where i was having a panic attack and i like couldn't even breathe um and you're in and out of the hospital it's terrible so Having the alpacas has just given me that opportunity to be able to just like, okay, I'm gonna go see the alpacas. I just go out to the fields and like walk with them, spend time with them, touch them, like kiss them, feed them, like, you know, and taking care of something else other than yourself and bringing yourself out of it. It just brings yourself more out of it, you know, and you're focused on the animal and you're, it's just such a good distraction, right? And you can't help but smile. You're right, because they're so goofy looking, yes, right? And they're so silly and they have such personalities. And the thing with alpacas is, they don't have a lot of defense mechanisms. So naturally, they're very skittish, they're very shy, but they still are very curious. So they'll come right up to you, but you gotta earn their trust. Mm. And that's something that we've been working with with these specific, this specific herd um, for over a year. So now they're finally, like we're still even now just starting to see some of their personalities and seeing how they are and how they interact with certain people and like they love children and animals that's what we've gathered um so you know it's it's worked out like it's just it's just a win-win right so you know julie what i love about what you just said and what this whole wellness wake up is about is empowerment yeah you just said when you had dark times not even just dark days mm -hmm. or minutes you were empowered to be able to actually act and that's what this series is all about that's what our vision is with with sharing these kinds of stories this is a simple accessible yep. and impactful way mm -hmm. to take back some control of your own health and well-being oh, and yeah. have a heck of a lot of fun while you're yeah, doing it absolutely. when claire and i left after our photo shoot i mean <laughs> we had laughed our heads off we is we're smiling from ear to ear and then when we saw the pictures i mean it was evident which is why we put those on the buses it's contagious yeah. and i love that you are now actually offering this up to the public so yes. When um, <laughs> we're gonna do another segment with you to talk all about, she's actually doing tours with the alpacas. You can even get your picture done like Claire and I did with the alpacas. And you can bring your family out here to this farm, being out in nature alone, the chickens, the bunnies, the goats, the alpacas, it's all here. up with Margaret and all the important pieces that you discussed and shared with us that was amazing and I think um, sort of an exciting piece attached to all that is that you and your husband are now offering uh, tours yes, to the public. Yes, we are. Yes. So what could one expect 
with a tour when you come here? So as soon as you get here, um, you know, we greet you obviously, and we bring you through the barn and kind of show you where they're sleeping. Um, their alpacas go to the bathroom in a litter box um, and they, it's a communal dung pile it's called. So they actually all go to the bathroom at the same, like they sink, they go one after the other. So we kind of explain that to people. People think that's very interesting. Um, people usually have a lot of questions for us about alpacas because alpacas are really exotic and unique still um, and there's not a huge population of them in North America yet so uh, people just have a ton of questions and so we kind of go through that and then we bring them out into the pasture um, where we take them for walks so they are all harness and leash trained um, typically we'll take Serena who's our oldest girl um, and she's also a certified service animal so she's a lot better with the whole walking thing she enjoys it a lot more so we have a whole path um, it's about two acres and we take them out on the path um, and show them just the beautiful scenery that's here at Alabaster Acres. Um, we also show them, oops, sorry, <laughs> sorry, okay. you're going to have to. <laughs> no, all good. Okay. Um, sorry, where was I? Um, yeah, so the beautiful scenery at Alabaster Acres yeah. um, and we show them just kind of what the alpacas do during the day. Uh, we also give them a bag of feed so they have the opportunity to feed the animals, have them come right up to them. And of course, lots of kisses, lots of hugs lots of interacting and we also do an experience that's included um, where the alpacas love water they can't swim but they love water so we have kiddie pools for them and as you know because you participated um, we like to spray them down with the hose and they love it so a lot of times they'll jump around and they'll have signals now for us to let us know they want more water they go like this with their paw or their foot hooves whatever they're called they're having a grand old time so that's what we do and then usually they'll run off and have a dust bath so they roll around and be all silly in the dust and kids love that so oh, great yeah amazing yeah. so i mark and i were here um doing a photo shoot with you for our being on the buses and all the exciting things and i know we learned a ton for sure yeah and <laughs> i think you know it's sometimes you think oh this is maybe just great for kids you know maybe you know for for just the youth but it's it's actually not like it's attracting yes. you sort of multi-generational people as well Absolutely. coming out so who who are sort of reaching out to want to come and and meet these beautiful ladies so we have tours booked um up to september now um but we still have some availability and we have anything we always ask the ages prior um and if there's mobility issues or anything and we have people anywhere from like babies coming all the way up to old like old old like 90 something years old and they're coming with their grandchildren or their great grandchildren and they're going to be doing this whole tour um so they're really excited they many of them don't even know what alpacas are so that's been interesting because <laughs> seeing people's expressions when they get here yeah. and they're they're yeah. gonna you know they're like oh my goodness this yeah. is an interesting animal tell me all about it yeah um and they love posing for selfies with them and taking pictures and stuff so yeah. Well, when I talked about doing this um, to some of the people, a, lot, a few people said to me, what's the difference between an alpaca and a llama? <laughs> yes. a, right? Like, yes. is that kind of like a, yeah. one of the bigger questions that a lot of yeah, people will ask? Yeah, we get that a lot. And I thought, that's a, that's a really great question. Yeah. I don't know, because there is a difference, <laughs> there right? There is a difference, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so okay. alpacas are more, um, I would say they're more like domesticated. Okay. So they're better for as pets because yeah. they're a little more docile, a little more agreeable and nice. Um, llamas are bred more for like packing, so having stuff on their backs. Um, okay. Because back in Peru, where they originate from, as well as alpacas, that's what they, they're all from the camelid family, um, so camel family. Right. Um, but that's basically the difference. And uh, llamas can get huge. They can be up to 400 pounds, I, I think. Um, and alpacas get to be about 200 on average. That's like a heavy, like that's Serena. Serena's our heavy alpaca. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, so they yeah. only get to be about 200 pounds, okay. and they you can't ride them, you can't carry, like yeah. they, yeah, that's not okay. what they're for. They're more as pets, so they're definitely mm. more like domesticated than llamas. Yeah. 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 And cool. llamas spit more. Yeah, I think it's like that spinning piece, right? <laughs> yeah. People were, you know, yeah. yeah, I think I associated that with that for sure. Yeah. <laughs> so the other thing too that I think would be really great for you to, to sort of explain to our viewers as well is is the health benefits attached to alpacas in the sense. I remember when we were here, um, you guys talked about the um, the lint balls that you create yes. or something from the fur. Yeah. Um, and we talked about the benefits of their poop, yep. um, which is such, <laughs> you know, it's a great topic, but it's the truth. And, yeah. and there's lots of factors attached to that. Um, so, and, and that you're even, you're selling their poop, which yes. is, who would have known? Yes. Create a business selling poop. But 
<laughs> what are some of the benefits attached to them as well? So there are a lot of benefits um, with alpacas. So basically their fibers are hypoallergenic because they don't have lanolin in their fiber. So yeah, it's not called wool, it's not called fur, it's fibers is what it's basically called. Um, and they do not have lanolin. So what that means is it's hypoallergenic, whereas with wool, some people could have really bad re allergic reactions to it. Um, so basically we shear them once a year and we have gathered all their fibers and of course we have um there's a reason why we have different colored alpacas in our herd um so each one will have a different type of fiber right and a different color so we can give ginger's got like a mix of kind of caramel in there and the other ones are all like you know brown black or white um, mm -hmm. but ginger's is really good because it's got that like little mix to it and for knitters, they love that because they can knit away with it. It's so silky, it's so luxurious. Like you so can make beautiful, like beautiful clothing and anything with it. Um, and it is more expensive than wool just because it's a better fabric. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's very versatile. And a lot of interior designers actually are contacting us asking to see if we have anything available because they want to decorate with it as well. Like they want to do like pillowcases and blankets and just like little accent pieces and stuff so yeah so we've gotten a lot of interest about that and because it's hypoallergenic it's fantastic yeah um there's no yeah reaction to it or anything and mm -hmm. in terms of the dryer balls those are really fun so basically it's a dryer ball and it's just like the wool ones only it's the alpaca's fur um and what we like to do is we like to we're going to be throwing in like a bottle of lavender um essential oil from a local lavender farm so, and then that way we're kind of tying in the local aspect of it as well um, and bringing business to them as well. So we'll be throwing it in. So basically you just dab it on the dryer ball. You throw the dryer balls in with your clothes instead of dryer sheets. It's environmentally friendly. And then it's also, you know, you don't have all those chemicals, harsh chemicals mm -hmm. on your skin, mm -hmm. anything like that. So yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Okay. Well, there you have it. Who knew? There's your uh, Alpaca 101, all the information necessary. And stay tuned because we will uh, maybe go and take a little peek and meet some of them all out there.